Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here. Welcome back to another video. So today we have a rather controversial change to go over that DICE are gonna be making to the game in season seven, whenever it happens to release. So just earlier today, they posted on the Battlefield Communications Twitter account saying, as we get closer to the reveal of season seven for Battlefield 2042, we wanted to begin touching upon some key gameplay changes set to take place. First up is weapon recoil. Take a look below to see how assault rifles, SMGs and LMGs will be feeling different in the upcoming season. So we're going to get stuck into this here. Is this a good change? Is it a bad change? And maybe more importantly, did anybody even ask for this change? Before we do though, if you enjoy the content here on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys. Lots more content to come here on season seven and beyond. Thank you guys as always so much for the support. So let's delve a little deeper here. They go on here to say, with Season 7, we wanted weapons to feel more unique and powerful when it comes to firing them. As such, we've made changes to how visual recoil is handled within the game and tune them to the vision for each weapon. Similar to the work that has taken place with Season 5 and the camera sprint motion, these changes will be more subtle to some of you while being more apparent to others. So if you guys recall with those changes, it was largely dependent on your FOV. I think the larger the FOV or the higher your FOV, the less you're going to notice these changes. And I suppose the same is going to be true with the new recoil or the visual recoil changes. It's an effort to create a more vivid firing experience, which will provide more visual emphasis on the weight and power of a weapon as you fire whilst aiming down sights. Going forward, we hope these changes will now provide distinct character to each weapon's gameplay and visual expectation, while also ramping up the immersive experience without impacting gameplay viability. So it should essentially make the game a little bit more realistic without detracting from the gameplay, according to DICE. So they do have a number of examples here, and all of these changes, as far as I can see, are for the assault rifles, the LMGs, and the SMGs, because, well, obviously, those are all of the automatic weapons in the game. So in the background here, you guys can see a little example of the assault rifles, and they say assault rifles will now feel snappier as you fire down your sights, and the punch that they will offer will vary depending on which type of assault rifle you're using. Here we have the LMGs, and the comment here is, in comparison to the above, they're talking about the assault rifles, you will see that an LMG is far more punchier and feels more impactful when firing. And then finally, we have the demonstration of the SMGs, and here they say, this change also extends to submachine guns, and once you get to grips with these changes, once Battlefield 2042 Season 7 lands, you will notice that there are distinct behaviors, not only on a per-weapon archetype basis, but on a per-weapon basis too. So each and every weapon in the game should now feel a little bit more distinctive, a little bit more unique. And there's actually a comment here from uh, Jacques Clarsen. I probably butchered the name, but he is a game designer. I'm not sure exactly what he's in charge of designing. I'm going to assume weapons here, but this is what he had to say on it. With Season 7, we wanted to make the visual experience of firing a weapon more satisfying by adding more variety in our recoil animations. Firing different weapons will feel more unique and powerful. For example, you'll notice the difference between a sharp and rapid assault rifle or a punchy and heavy hitting LMG. And uh, here is DICE's final comment on the post over on Twitter. They say, we want to hit the sweet spot and are looking forward to your feedback on how this plays for you. Oh, there's definitely going to be feedback, believe you me. To us, visual recoil is equally an audio-visual experience as it is a gameplay relational reality. We want it to feel great and exciting while not detracting from the weapon's gameplay viability. At the same time, we expect that some metas may or may not change due to the new behaviors visually. Please keep us posted on your thoughts. So I definitely have some thoughts of my own to share with you guys on this. I'm a little bit 50-50. So on the one hand, I really do think that visual recoil represented in the correct way can add a lot to the feel of a game. I think, you know, the feel in Battlefield 2042 or any shooter for that matter when you fire a weapon comes down to lots of small intricate things. It comes down to the audio, it comes down to the feel of the weapon and a lot of the time the feel of the weapon 
are things like visual recoil. And Battlefield has already had some visual recoil, so it's not like they didn't have it before and now they're adding it to the game. They're just changing the visual recoil and amping it up a little bit. So in terms of realism, I'm all for it. Anything that can make Battlefield more of a realistic game, I'm all for as long, and this is the caveat, as long as it doesn't detract from the gameplay. And I think that is a lot of the times the avenue that people seem to want Battlefield to go down. They want it to become more realistic. They want it to be like a hardcore shooter. And it just doesn't work within the balance of the game. That's why I'm not an advocate of sort of changes like that. Now, on the flip side, adding visual recoil, as we've seen in multiple games before, in the newest Call of Duty, for example, it had absolutely outrageous amounts of visual recoil. I picked up the beta, gave it a try, and I put it down straight away. I really wasn't a fan of it, largely in due to the fact of the visual recoil. If it's too egregious, if it's too aggressive, the gun just sort of flops around all over the place, your sight moves all over the place, and you'll notice that in these background examples here, they're all done with iron sights. So it would certainly be interesting to see what does it look like with a red dot sight. It also worries me a little bit that they say at the same time, we expect that some metas may or may not change due to the new behaviours. So sort of on the one hand, they're saying that they want the game to be more realistic whilst not changing the weapon's gameplay viability. But then on the other hand, they're saying that the weapon meta may change, and I can only assume that the reason for that is because the visual recoil is going to get in the way here. I don't think they're actually changing the recoil numbers for the weapons. So, you know, how much you need to drag down on your mouse or your thumbstick, I guess, should remain the same as far as I understand this. It's just a visual thing. So for me, I'm definitely a little bit on the fence. I'm just going to wait until Season 7 comes out. I'm going to wait until I've played the game for myself and then I'm going to see what I think about it. If we look over on Twitter, I've seen... A lot of different opinions about this. Enders and most of the highly skilled, competitive-minded players, I would say, are not particularly fond of this change, to say the least. He says, they said, let's make the game worse. Nobody asked for more visual recoil. Nobody. And I do have to agree with him in part there. This wasn't a change that anybody asked for. I don't think out of all of the myriad of different things that people have wanted to see added into Battlefield 2042 or fixed for the game, that visual recoil has been mentioned by anyone. So I don't really know where they got this from, but uh, they just decided to add it in nevertheless. Flex Lanes, he is a Twitch streamer. He says, I don't see how this is a good thing. Can we get this shown with red dots? I don't see too many people using iron sights. Junda here says, adding visual recoil two plus years later and the mouse input is still broken. That's definitely a fair point. Catalyst looks unimpressed. Heeb says, is this an early April Fool's joke, or did they really sit down and say, you know what, let's make the gunplay feel even worse? So even SMK Gaming here, who I always feel is in DICE's corner, he says, I'm sorry, but why add this? Visual recoil adds nothing positive to the game. The gun simply bounces around more. It's all artificial. Not looking forward to this. So yeah, man, the reception to this has definitely not been positive. I'm excited to hear what you guys think about this down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys think, positive or negative. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Take care, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.